Next up is LS7, and it is a modified block. So we go to the booklet, and in the booklet, we see that we have um, the tip is changed up just a little bit, make it a little easier. So here we have this band. This is one big background piece with three appliqued parts, and then there's three pieces here for this and that. So that's what our, our assembly is going to be. And I have my pieces here like usual. And my basting for these, well, this will be last. So my tags will go out to the side. This will have the basting here will be first on the little ends and then the long sides. Here will be, this will be last and then those. This doesn't matter too much. I'm going to do this, the, other, the shorter sides and then the longer sides. And these, I'm going to make all of the tags go away from this center section. So this will be the, the first base I do is on here. And then that way, that way the tags will go this way. Here, this was going to be the first one of the basting. And then we'll do those. And for this one, this is going to go last so that my tags go away from the center. So this is first. There is a flat side here on the top, which will go, that'll go first actually. And then go around here and this will be last. And then these, I'm gonna use gathering stitch method so that I can um, get them nice and tight and then applique them on. And we'll talk about placement when we get there. So I'm gonna start my assembly down here at the tip. So I'm gonna base these. This is gonna go away. And like we talked about the basting on this, so I will get to these four pieces and get them assembled. Basted my pieces, and I'm going to sew these three together next. So I've assembled these into their unit, and I'm going to attach the tip. And then I basted this piece already, and it's just plain, because I'm going to put these on there later. But I think I'm going to attach it here. Oh no, I'm going to put appliques on here so it's easier for me to handle this so when it's not a triangle. So I will, let me put the tip on this and then I'll set it aside and then we'll work on applique placement. So I've assembled my tip and I'm going to set this aside now. Next is to work on this whole center section. First thing I'm going to do is baste my applique pieces with the gathering stitch and then I'll be ready to place them onto the background. So I basted this big piece that's going to go here and I found the center, whoops, found the center of both sides here and drew a very faint pencil line. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put this almost to the edge on that point here and then it's going to be on that line as well here and then I'm going to staple it in two places. I'm going to staple it here and here to keep it from shifting. It does shift a little bit but that'll help me keep it under control. Then I haven't basted these little ones yet but I'm going to do that next but when I go to place them they're at a really strange angle. So I'm going to find something that looks right, but then you want to be able to match it. So I have a protractor and I'll change, I'll find the angle and that way I can do both things. I'll line up my 90 degree line on my pencil line and then go, the, you know, go to the angle that looks right on one side and then match that on the other. So that's how I'm going to do my placement for my applique pieces. Got all three of my applique pieces stapled down. This one I've already appliqued on. I just haven't taken the basting or the staples out quite yet. These I did place with my stapler and my protractor. I put one at about where it looked to be on the picture and then measured on this side because I still had my little line. There's still a little bit showing. Measured the same distance over here and then checked the angle for this point So I made sure there was an anchor point here and then this point can swivel So I wanted to make sure that that was at the same type of angle as it's very close 
and uh, hopefully when I get them applique down they'll stay that way because sometimes they do shift a little bit. They look a little weird because the tags are still sticking out from underneath but as I get those stitched down I will tuck those under as I go. So I'm going to go ahead and stitch these down now. So I've applique on the smaller footballs and took out the stitching and the staples. Now I'm going to take my tip and attach it to the small side so I can have everything together for now. My tip is now attached to my centerpiece and now I'm going to work on the band here and I'm going to baste these and attach these going across. So this is how I decided to do my basting. I did the top part of this first and then I went around. This one was last so my tags will go away from this seam and these were all done first the long sides so that the tags go away and then same thing here is just a mirror image of this so I'm going to stitch these together now. So I've stitched all of my pieces together for the band and now I will attach it to the rest of my triangle. So I've attached the band to the rest of the triangle and now my LS7 triangle has been completed.